Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to install Home Assistant on Proxmox. First make sure your Proxmox is running and up to date. Don't have Proxmox installed yet? Check out my Proxmox installation video. Right click on your Proxmox node and select create VM. Enter a name and a ID. Also tick start at boot. Under OS select do not use any media. In the systems tab change the machine to type Q35. Set BIOS to OVMF. Choose the desired storage under EFI storage. Uncheck pre-enroll keys. Delete the default disk. Give the machine at least two cores and four gigs of RAM. Under bridge, select the interface you want to use. Review all the settings and click finish. We are now going to download the Home Assistant disk and import it. Under the Proxmox QCAL2, right click, copy link, open the shell of your Proxmox node and download the file. Once the download is complete, unpack the file. Import the disk to your newly created VM using the following command. QM import disk followed by the VM ID. The disk we just unpacked and the target storage. Next, we're going to import the disk to our VM. Go to your Home Assistant VM. Under the Hardware tab, you see an unused disk. Select this and click Edit. Then leave all the settings like that. If you use SSD, you can check SSD emulation and click Add. Next, go to the Options tab, select Boot Order and click Edit. Enable on new disk and disable all the others. Don't forget to assign a static IP in your router or firewall for easy access. Then you can start the VM. Access Home Assistant in your browser at the IP you gave it and port 8123. Click on Create My Smart Home. Enter your name. Change the username if needed and enter a secure password. Click Create Account. Set the location. Set your country. And check if you want any analytics to send. Then click finish. Okay, first let's set up backups. Go to settings, system, storage, and add network storage. Enter a name. Under Usage, select Backup, enter the server, select the protocol and insert the remote path. 
and click connect. Now go to settings, system, backups, and click setup backups. Download the encryption key and save it somewhere safe. Choose recommended or custom. Then go to settings and history and change the location from the system to your network storage. To secure Home Assistant with HTTPS, we'll install Let's Encrypt and Nginx SSL proxy. Go to Settings, Add-ons, click on Add-on Store, and select Let's Encrypt, then hit Install. Go to Configuration. Very important to leave the empty domain here, then enter your domain. Then hit save. You can then go back to the info tab and check start on boot and hit start. After a few seconds wait, you can check the logs and if you see an expiration date in the logs, it means you successfully got a certificate. Then go back to the add-on store and install Nginx SSL proxy. Go to the configurations tab and enter your domain. Hit save and go back to the info tab. Check Start on Boot and Watchdog and then start the add-on. Go to the Documentation tab and copy everything under point 2. Go back to the add-on store and install Studio Code Server. I uncheck Start on Boot and then start it. Change to the Studio Code Server and open your configuration YAML. Here you paste what you copied from the documentation. Then go to the Developer Tools, click on Check Configuration. You get this message, you can restart Home Assistant. You can then open your Home Assistant DNS name in your browser with HTTPS and your securely access Home Assistant. We now have to go to Settings, Automations, Create New Automation. Under when we add a trigger with time every day at a fixed time and the action we want to do is other actions, home assistant supervisor, start add on. Here we select the let's encrypt add on. This periodically starts the add on which looks for a new certificate, then hit save. Your Home Assistant is now up and running, secured by HTTPS and automated backups. Start adding devices, creating dashboards and automations. Also can explore integrations and even more when you install hacks. Linked here is a video of beautiful dashboard I personally use. When you're there, also check the other videos from ESH. 
Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more homelab content. I'll see you in the next video.